Hello everyone, it is Saturday, April the 20th, 2024. I am Doug. It is time once again to play some connections. Let's see what we got today. We have the following. Goatee, hogwash, bunk, pole, hammer, pitchfork, uh, sheep shank, crock, hurdle, tail, horns, bowline, hitch, bend, horse feathers. I've never seen the font that small before. Uh, and baton. Well, uh, my first inclination is I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, all right, let's just get this on the table, right? Let's just let's just not dance around this. I have no idea what sheep shank is. Um, I mean, I'm not sure what the context of horse feathers is. Besides sounding like some sort of like thing you just say when you're exasperated. Oh, horse feathers. Maybe that's. I don't know. Um, I mean, goatee is a type of facial hair style. <laughs> like, I feel like bunk in hogwash maybe goes with horse feathers and croc. What a croc, what bunk, what hogwash, what horse feathers. Uh, it just seems like such a strange word. Uh, I don't know if Sheepshank is involved in this. <laughs> but I feel like hogwash, bunk, croc go together. And I'm gonna maybe horse feathers is where we gotta go. So are these like um declarations of something that's absurd? Balderdash. <laughs> wow. Balderdash. If anyone in watching this got Balderdash, uh, please let me know in the comments because uh, my tip of the hat, tip of the hat. Um, but I think we'll go with the synonym of that. Horse feathers. Has anyone actually used, if you've used horse feathers, is an exclamation. Please also let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to know. Uh, very interesting, but let's let's move on here. Let me not get uh, tied up on that. Uh, okay, so um, let's see. Uh, horns, a goatee, a pitchfork, and a tail. Uh, would that, is it possible that these are um Things that you would associate with the imagery of what we'll call the devil. A goatee, pitchfork, tail, and horns. Parts of a devil costume. Okay, there we go. Yes, blue. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know how to put that eloquently, but that works. Okay. So we have yellow and blue, and now we have green and purple. Um, a baton... Like you pass a baton, a pole, a hurdle, and a hammer, like a hammer throw. These feel like things that are accessories with Olympic events. So there's like there's a hammer throw, there's a baton race where you pass a baton, there's pole vaulting, and then there's the hurdles you jump over. So are these like... Uh, parts of Olympic events or track and field. Track and field equipment. Okay. All right. I, the last second I pivoted from Olympic to track and field. So uh, I think I get the point just because right at that last moment, I said, wait a minute, track and field. Uh, and I remember I used to play, there was an old video game called track and field. I had that on my Nintendo. I think all these were events in there. So that might be what jarred my memory being a, being an old gamer. Well, anyway, okay, so we have the purple now. Sheepshank, bowline, hitch, and bend. Uh, okay. Um, bowline. I don't think that's part of a phrase. Um, bend are these things with... 
are these things with a word in front of them, like Ben, Hit, Bo, Sheep? No. That wouldn't make any sense. I don't know what Sheepshank is, <laughs> so I'm at a distinct disadvantage. Bowline. Um, oh, my goodness. Hitch. Bend, like around the bend. Um, like, I feel like I, I can't think of hitch is like something like you, you attach something to a hitch, right? Like a trailer hitch. Um, but that doesn't seem to have any kind of reasonable connection to the other words. Um, hitch, bowline, bend, around the bend. Um, I don't know what else would go with a phrase with bend. Uh, I don't think that's it, right? Uh, end, so is it a letter plus a word, end, itch, uh, line, shank, a shank, a line, itch, and no, um, I did, like, if you take the words that are part of the words, I don't think they have any kind of connection. Like a shank would be like a knife or an object that you stab with. That wouldn't fit with anything. A line and then itch. Like, what do you do with itch, right? Um, an end. So the parts of the words don't group together. Um and if you take the first part, sheep, bowl, hit, bend, no. No connections there. Don't think you got a phrase. I don't think... I'm going to presume that this is not part of a title. Uh, work of art, song, movie, TV, don't think so. Uh, there was a... I think there was a movie hitch. I think the hitch was like a about a dog... I don't know, but I don't know of any bowline movies. I've never seen a sheep shank movie, so that's out. I guess I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to surrender here. Because I'm all out of ideas and I only know what two of the words mean. Bend and hitch. Not sure about bowline and sheep shank. So I'd be I'd be spinning my wheels trying to make sense of this. Ah, uh, so I'm going to humbly submit and ask, what in the heck is going on here? What do we have? Types of knots. Oh, you know, here's the thing. I was actually in Boy Scouts, uh, but I was here. Okay, so fun story. Uh, these are all obviously types of knots. Never heard of them. Uh, I was in the Boy Scouts um, when I was a youngster. Um, but growing up, I was deathly afraid of the outdoors and camping. And uh, I opted out of the Boy Scouts camping trip. And I bet you anything that they taught all those knots. Uh, and I just, I literally was the guy that wasn't there when they taught knots. So... Yeah, I mean, the only knots I really know are garlic knots. <laughs> and boy, are they yummy. Uh, but I don't go to my favorite Italian place and order sheep shank knots. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll be here all week trying the veal. Um, folks, I hope you had a good one with connections today. Let me know how you did the knots trip you up or tie you up. <laughs> All right, I promise I'm I'm done. Uh, we're here to have fun. I promise we're here to have fun. Uh, I hope you had a good time. Uh, as always, we'll see you tomorrow with some more connections.